You've likely experienced it before. Squealing noises under the hood, headlight bulbs that blow out or dim repeatedly, dash voltmeter gauge completely out of range, either too high or too low. These are common indicators that something may be wrong with the charging system. This video will teach you five steps to pinpoint exactly where the issue resides. Even if you find something wrong and think you've discovered the main problem, it's wise to complete the remaining steps to ensure you've given the charging system a thorough review. First step, visual inspection. Look at belt tension and condition. Make sure it's not loose, worn, cracked, or glazed. Next, check electrical connections and cables for corrosion and proper tightness. Finally, make sure the alternator is mounted properly. Make any repairs and adjustments before going to step two. The next step is to visually inspect and test the batteries. First, inspect the batteries for any signs of physical damage, cracks in the casing, loose terminals, or leaking fluid. Clean, repair connection, and replace any damaged batteries found. Also ensure that all batteries used in the same circuit are of the same manufacturer, CCA rating, type, and age. Then test the batteries using a standard battery test. Remember that realistic testing, as well as successful operation, requires a fully charged battery capable of supplying the starting system's current needs. To test the batteries, turn the engine off and check battery voltage using a voltmeter. Remove any surface charge first. Turn on the headlights and blower motor at high speed for one minute. Next, turn off all loads and wait two minutes for the voltage to stabilize. If the voltage is less than 12.4 volts, the batteries need to be recharged. If the voltage is greater than or equal to 12.4 volts, then you should also perform battery load test. Load testing evaluates the health of a battery. You can use an automated tester or manual process to determine if you have defective batteries that need to be replaced. To perform a manual load test, you'll need a carbon pile tester and voltmeter. Two quick tips. If the carbon pile is not equipped with an ammeter, connect an inductive amp clamp in the proper polarity to either carbon pile lead. Additionally, if the vehicle has multiple batteries, test each battery individually. With the engine off, connect the carbon pile tester positive or red lead to the battery positive post and the negative or black lead to the battery negative post. Now connect the voltmeter in the same manner. Adjust the carbon pile to one half the cold cranking amp rating for 15 seconds. Record the lowest voltage, then turn off the carbon pile. Compare it to the standard voltage temperature chart on the screen. If the voltage is at the minimum loaded voltage or above, the battery passes. If it falls below the minimum, replace the battery. The third step in troubleshooting the alternator charging system is to measure voltage at the battery with the engine running. Again, use a voltmeter for an accurate reading. If voltage is greater than or equal to 13.8 volts, you can move on to step four. However, if the voltage is less than 13.8 volts, then you should measure voltage at alternator B plus and the alternator ground case. If the model is insulated, you have to use a ground stud to get a reading. At that point, if the voltage falls between 12.6 and 13.7 volts, you likely need to replace your alternator. If the alternator has remote sense, voltage at the alternator could be in excess of 15 volts. If it's greater than or equal to 13.8, do a voltage drop test. Check out the video on our YouTube page for how to perform a voltage drop test. Now we're at step four, testing alternator output. Performing an alternator load test ensures the alternator is providing sufficient current to operate the vehicle electrical loads and maintain battery charge. You can use either an automated tester or manual process to determine the output of the alternator. To perform the manual test, you'll need a carbon pile tester, an ammeter, and amp clamp. First, connect the carbon pile tester to the battery. The positive, or red lead, connects to the positive post and negative or black lead to the negative post on the battery. Then clamp the ammeter in the correct polarity around the B plus cable near the alternator. 
Now with the engine running at governor speed and all electrical loads turned off, increase the load at the carbon pile until the ammeter reads its highest value. Record the output and turn off the carbon pile and engine. Amp output should be at least 90% of the rated capacity. If it's not, that's a clear sign that the alternator needs to be replaced. If you need to replace your alternator, visit our online catalog. If you've passed through the first four steps, then the alternator is working as it's designed to do and your problem is likely caused by something external to the alternator. If you've done all these steps and are still experiencing issues or have other questions, then contact the Technical Support Center. You can also download the heavy-duty troubleshooting guide from our website and find other helpful resources like our online electrical systems training program. The training program covers all aspects of electrical system and is a great resource for technicians. If you have any questions, contact our customer support team at the number on the screen or visit us online.